Greetings to us all today in the name of our Lord and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Today is Wednesday, the 30th of September. Welcome to this time of devotional worship. The Apostle Paul in Colossians chapter 3 verse 17 says, Everything you do or say then should be done in the name of the Lord Jesus as you give thanks through him to God the Father. Colossians chapter 3 verse 17, the Apostle Paul says, Everything you do or say then should be done in the name of the Lord Jesus as you give thanks through him to God the Father. Praise God for this new day, for new life, for the new breath and energy that God has given to us to use and to do our work for today. May you experience the joy and the peace that God wants to give to you today. Please use this devotion to help your journey of life today. And remember, obey all the rules of the level that we are currently in. Now the overall theme for today's devotion. You are God's representative. Therefore, represent God well. You are God's representative. Therefore, represent God well. The first Bible passage comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20, the Apostle Paul says, Here we are then, speaking for Christ, as though God himself were making his appeal through us. We plead on Christ's behalf. Let God change you from enemies into his friends. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 20, the Apostle Paul says, Here we are then, speaking for Christ, as though God himself were making his appeal through us. We plead on Christ's behalf. Let God change you from enemies into his friends. You are God's representative, therefore represent God well. A Christian is a Christian all the time, no matter where you go, what you do, who you interact with. You are Christian 24-7 every day. You live the life of a Christian and you behave according to the teachings that Jesus taught us to do. The Apostle Paul believed this principle of being a representative of Christ. And that is why he was always aware that what he said was always based on the teachings of Jesus. The Apostle Paul also knew that the way he behaved also needed to reflect the nature of Christ who was humble, obedient, and loving towards people. The Apostle Paul and all the apostles and missionaries represented Jesus Christ. They represented God. When people saw how they behaved with humility, with love and honor, when they saw their Christ-like behavior, it had a magnet effect. It drew people towards Christ because they saw Christ in Paul, in the missionaries and the apostles. How are you representing God? Do you behave Christ-like? Do people see God in you? Or do they see something else? Take, for example, the Apostle Paul. He was obedient. He was humble and forgiving. He was caring and loving. He spoke with calm and with wisdom 
And when he needed to, he spoke with authority. Remember, you are God's representative. Therefore, represent God well. Now the second Bible passage comes from 1st John chapter 2 verses 3 and 4. 1st John chapter 2 verses 3 and 4 are these words. If we obey God's commands, then we are sure that we know him. If we say that we know him but do not obey his commands, we are liars and there is no truth in us. 1st John chapter 2 verses 3 and 4. It says, if we obey God's commands, then we are sure that we know him. If we say that we know him, but we do not obey his commands, we are liars. There is no truth in us. You are God's representative. Therefore, represent God well. Many people are Christian. But the way they behave and talk, you would never know it. Many Christians know the basic teachings. Many Christians know the basic teachings of the Bible. Love people. Love God. However, many call themselves Christians, but neither they neither love people nor do they love God. Many people in your street will know you go to church or are connected to a church. Many people in your circle of friends may also know you are a Christian. But do you behave as a Christian? Do you talk like someone who knows Christ and his teachings? You know, there are many Christians who shout, God this, God that, yet are lazy and not motivated. They think they are entitled. They are high-minded, etc., etc. That is the challenge for you today. Represent God well. You are God's representative. You may be the closest thing that another person has of understanding or knowing God. You. And if they see a way of behaving that is Christ-like in you, they will immediately know the difference between the worldly way of thinking and the godly way of thinking. They will know that because of what they see in you. Remember, you are God's representative. Therefore, represent God well. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord God, for the blessings that you've given to us helping us to live life during these challenging times. We thank you for your holy word, a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Help us to represent you well, Lord God, in our lives. Help us to shine your light in our communities. Heavenly Father, bless all the workers today, the sick and the elderly, the vulnerable and all who need your help, Lord God. May they know your strength, and your peace today. Bless each and every one of us today, Lord God. May all that we do give glory and honour to your holy name. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Saviour. Amen. Now remember to obey the rules for the level that we are in. God bless you all, and we shall see you again tomorrow.